I was in Gaza, living there for 12 months, you were often down doing stories at the tunnels. Cars were coming in through the tunnels. Fish were coming in in crates with ice. I mean, it was an elaborate business system. These tunnel operators essentially became barons. They made so much money on both sides of the border through it. But it was the regular Palestinians, of course, who were suffering, unable to get, you know, the types of supplies, even children's toys, coriander. These were the things that gradually Israel started to allow back in once it began to ease some parts of the siege. Uh, it, it was really hard. And perhaps the biggest difficulty for Gaza was that its economy wasn't able to develop. Uh, there was one economist who termed it the de-development of Gaza. If you're not able to export or you're not able to, to get in certain supplies from Israel and the West Bank to build your business, what hope do you have?